So, cooking my first meal here at Jeff Busby. A couple pre made hamburgers. Just gonna burn them a little bit and then eat them. Using my trusty little butane stove and this, the cheapest pan I could get at Walmart a while back. Ceramic coated, one of the best non sticks I've ever had. And it was the cheapest. It is some kind of hot out here, but I'm in the shade and so it's it's a lot cooler. There's no breeze, but I got a fan back in the SUV and the Beast. So as soon as I get done, I'll head back in there and chill. Meal number one done. Nice and easy. Little cheddar wavy lay Pringles and wait, wait, I guess they're just wavy Pringles. <laughs> and a couple patties, nice and easy. Now I'm gonna clean out this pan, nice and easy. All I did was wipe it off with two paper towels. Now I'm spraying with a little alcohol like I normally do. Now, <laughs> that's I'm having to use what I've already had because I still haven't found any extra alcohol anywhere. Stores still are not stocked up in Mississippi with alcohol. And by alcohol, I mean rubbing alcohol. So up this road, straight up from the campgrounds, there's supposedly a little lookout, mountain overlook and summit, something or other. So we're going to check it out. So you come up this road and you've got this little guy here where you can hang out. This is the Jeff Busby Park and they call it a lookout in the summit and this is why. It's a pretty view way off in the distance. This little building up here is a pavilion with a little information about the area. There is a walking trail back down that way that goes all the way down to the campgrounds. And this is another view off into the distance all in all not a bad place to stop not sure if you can see that but this is the trail a little loop to head back down to the campground this is the bottom of the hill from the little mountain dude where it comes out, the campground comes out right there. There's a few of the spots right over there where that trash can is and the one behind it. And here is keep it on coming down where you turn into the campgrounds themselves. Let's forgive my windshield. It's 90 degrees out even though it's been raining there's a site here is a site and that's where I camped last night right around that curve then you see more sites up this way there's at least there's two sites it looks like because there's two sets of picnic tables and trash cans there's only one other person that has been here the whole time there's another site so 
you can see that the sights are a bit tight. There's another one from the camp post. Here's a sight right across from the bathroom, which bathrooms are closed. This is the COVID situation. Bathrooms are closed. Here's a tent site. And another one. Then this is interesting because you've got one, two, and three sites all kind of lined up in one little loop. Everything is fairly clean. You know, it's free. The spots are, are not extremely level. And this is where I would take a left to go up to that outlook. And now we're heading back out of the park again. And you can turn left there and go up and there's just a little round circle with picnic tables where you can park and have a picnic. And we're back out to the trace again. You know, what, what are my thoughts on Jeff Busby campground? Um, it's, it's not quite as nice as Rocky Springs. Um, but it was quiet, it was calm, peaceful. Uh, for free, it's, it's really hard to beat, uh, except for the heat. So if you're gonna stay, make sure you stay when it's not so hot. Hope you enjoy this very brief review of the Jeff Busby campground on the Natchez Trace. I'll catch you in the next one.